You're watching the Vidim Vlog with my friend Seek, the best source for all things symbiote related. Don't forget to catch me in Sony's Venom in U.S. theaters on October 5th, 2018. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and we are here continuing our deep dive into the Venom Along Came a Spider graphic novel. And this story or this graphic novel features a ton of stories in it. It has three miniseries, which we already talked about the first one, which is Along Came a Spider. And then we also have The Hunted and The Hunger, which we're going to get to later this week. Uh, but in the middle of it, there's like these little fun short stories. And these were originally collected or at least printed in the back of each of these issues. So Along Came a Spider had this story in it, which was called Hybrid first touch and this was written by Evan Skolnick and art by Patrick Zircher and this introduced us to a new character called hybrid um, but not a new character in Scott Washington who's our main character he actually first appeared in a new warriors comic book he was part of the guardsmen so the guardsmen are kind of like almost like the jury like a different version of them they're mostly green and stuff and uh, they work for this organization who's like fascinated by the symbiotes almost like the life foundation uh, but they have like their own goals and their own means and their own things that they want to do and so uh, the guardsmen and they're also for hire I think too and so Scott as the guardsman he arrested justice or you know justice the character from New Warriors was arrested and Scott had to transport him and they bonded. They became friends almost. And uh, Scott basically started to question, you know, the group he was working for and his morality and stuff. And he's like, hey, we got a superhero. This kid just wants to do good. And I think they end up creating a friendship. And then Scott appears a couple times in New Warriors. So uh, what happened is, is they took that character, Scott Washington, and I guess, you know, Marvel or someone over at Marvel saw potential in creating new stories with him. So they brought him over into this backup story and along came a spider. And in this, you know, it's basically, I think like six to eight pages or somewhere around that at the back of each issue but it's cool because they collected them all in this and there's this first story here and then there's a second hybrid story that we're going to get to this week as well that focuses on this character of Scott Washington and his new alter ego as hybrid uh, so this organization at the beginning of the book they have four of the symbiotes, four out of the five life uh, uh, foundation symbiotes, and they're experimenting on them, and they're trying to come up with a way to fuse them all together. Uh, so they have Raid or Phage, I'm sorry, Phage, Riot, Agony, and Lasher. They don't have Scream. She's still out there somewhere, as we, we're going to see in an upcoming story. Uh, she's still on the loose. Deanna, Donna Diego is out there still um, after the events of Separation Anxiety. But these four suits were captured, and so this organization is trying to, you know, merge them all together. And you have, of course, you have, like, evil scientist guys, and you have the guardsmen working for them and then you have scott and scott even after all the you know stuff that's been going on after kind of him befriending justice and kind of going against his orders and stuff he's on the edge and and uh you know basically on his way out of uh, this whole you know, organization he doesn't really want to be a part of it anymore and when he sees some of the stuff they're doing he's starting to question himself and he's starting to wonder am i a good guy or am i a bad guy you know i made the right choice i think you know at least with justice and helping him you know accomplish a couple goals and and help him out uh but well, who am I? Like, what you know, what kind of person am I? And I kind of like that approach to a story, you know, for a, for a hero, especially one who's like teeters in the gray area. I just find characters in the gray area a lot more interesting. Um, you can you can open up different types of stories with them. When you have someone who's just a good person, like a Peter Parker, uh, there's a limit to an extent of what kind of stories you can tell with them, um, I believe. I mean, sure, you can bend that limit and test that limit from time to time, but there is still a line that if you go too far, it's not Peter Parker anymore. And then you have, on the opposite end, as far as symbiotes go, uh, you have Carnage, who's like a serial killer, and you can pretty much go into all these dark areas uh, with that character. So it's neat to have someone like Eddie Brock or Scott Washington, someone in the middle, who you can kind of go uh, wherever the story you know dictates and where it needs you to go with these characters. Um, I think that's pretty interesting, and it opens up, like I said, for more stories. So Scott here is uh, trying to do his best. Uh, he has a brother named uh, uh, Derek, I think, Derek Washington, and uh, there's like some scuffle they get into with uh, this gang while they're playing basketball, like you know on their downtime, and they're just like out play, you know playing basketball, and this gang doesn't like losing, I guess, to them. So uh, they end up retaliating and they break into Scott's place and they shoot him and his brother and they kill his brother uh, and they paralyze Scott. So he's not dead. He's like you know just loses the use of his legs completely. And uh, and then meanwhile while that's happening, you have this uh, organization uh, merging the four suits together. And before Scott left those suits kind of had a quick small bond uh, with 
Scott and they could sense, you know, his life, his pain, his questioning of his morality. Um, and, you know, because they mentioned early on, you know, in the comics that the symbiotes have low level psychic abilities and stuff and they can connect in a psychic way and they can transfer memories and things like that. So uh, this hybrid suit, now that it's formed together and it was like merged in, and I really like Patrick Zercher's art here because when they merge them, you actually see sadness uh, and pain and agony on the face of these four symbiotes. So as they're merging and they become one being, um, I guess, you know, their experiment worked, but it gets out. And then now that it's out and it's loose, uh, the only person it felt a slight connection to or understood was Scott. So now it's out there looking for Scott, um, who was just, as we found out, was paralyzed. Uh, but before he was, you know, and he was like, there's like this great scene where he's like, Scott's taking a shower and he's like looking up and he's like, you know, the water's hitting him and the symbiote is mimicking that movement. So that's how connected the suit felt to him in their brief interaction with each other at, you know, before Scott left. So, uh, so that's why the suit is out there looking for him. Uh, but meanwhile, it also feels his pain when he gets shot uh, at the same time. So, uh, so Scott is recovering in the hospital and Vance shows up. Vance is the guy Justice from New Warriors, and he shows up to try to talk to him. Hey, you know, I'm a superhero. Maybe I can help find who did this to you and who killed your brother. And, you know, I'm sorry for your loss, but, uh, you know, I don't want you, you know, to be, you know, I, I guess I, I'm just here to support you. You know, I don't want you to, you know, go too down the spiral, like too far down the spiral, and I don't want you to seek revenge in some way, um, you know, but I'm here as moral support. And I'm here to help you, and if you want some kind of justice, you know, let me know who did it, and, you know, and I'll, I'll try to help out. And Scott's like, you know what? I, I appreciate the thought, but I'm 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 not interested right now. And then so uh, he's like, but thanks for stopping by. So Vance leaves, and then that's when the symbiote kind of finally finds Scott, sees him through the window, and mer you know goes in and merges with them. And once it does, it's very cool because it kind of reminds me of Flash Thompson or like a precursor to Flash Thompson. Um, as we're gonna get into in season four, you know, Flash Thompson is a. Uh, he, you know, he was paralyzed, you know, he's a soldier and he got, he was paralyzed. And then I think like Norman Osborn did a bunch of terrible stuff to him, got him drunk and crashed him into a wall and stuff at a school or something. And it was, it's terrible. Like Flash Thompson had a really, really rough life after, you know, being Peter Parker's bully. And, uh, and so he, we're going to learn about him. He becomes uh, a Venom, you know, he becomes a new agent Venom and uh, he's paralyzed. But whenever he's bonded with the suit, he's not paralyzed uh, temporarily. So Scott here doesn't do the temporary thing like Flash does. Scott fully bonds with the suit. Uh, so, and he has four of them. And it's cool because some of the lettering is really great. You'll hear voices from each symbiote, like, and they finish each other's sentences. Uh, so I thought that was like a nice touch that was put in there. Um, and I think that appears more in the second story too. Uh, but uh, yeah, in this one, you know, Vance shows up and he says, you know, as he's hybrid, now that Scott's hybrid, he's going around looking for this gang that killed him and his brother and he starts finding them and justice shows up and he's like hey you know what let me help you so the two of them get into this battle they fight this gang this gang's you know found some high-tech stuff and they so they have like some mechs and stuff to you know obviously to make the battle more interesting because just against a bunch of guys with guns uh vance and uh, and and hybrid are going to mop the floor with them so they add a little bit of excitement there by putting in some giant robots uh, but while this happening Dwight, who is a friend of uh, of Scott's and was a friend of his brother as well, uh, you know, he's like a lifelong friend. Uh, he finds out what's going on and he, you know, connects with, reconnects with Scott after some time had passed and he heard about his brother. And so, you know, Scott's like, all right, Dwight, like, you know, don't freak out. It's me, you know, <laughs> and he's like, he's got, you know, his suit on, his symbiote. And he's like, don't freak out. I'm here to take these guys out and, uh, and make sure you're safe too. And make sure like these guys don't harm our neighborhood anymore and stuff. So Scott goes through and just, you know, tears these guys all apart. But when it's push comes to shove and he's like ready to kill them, he doesn't do it. He ends up doing the heroic thing. He has Vance there or justice, you know, over his shoulder. And he's thinking about his brother and stuff. And he's just like, you know what? Justice needs to be served for these guys, you know, and uh, I'm just going to turn them over. But they like all try to get one last shot in on them and they're shooting them. And then the suit, you know, absorbs the bullets and just throws them back. And they're just like, it's like, whatever, you know, you're not, not going to take us down with bullets. And then, you know, they arrest the bad guys and send them off. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a neat little storyline. I think Scott Washington's a cool character. Um, Derek, his, his brother, you know, at the end of the story, uh, him and or Scott and Dwight are talking over Derek's grave and uh, they're talking about, you know, what's going on. And, and Dwight's like, hey, are you going to tell me what happened? Like, what's with this you know power that you have now? Um, you know, how are you walking again? And Scott's like, look, I don't want to inform you on any of this stuff. I, you know, the, it's best to keep you in the dark because if someone comes along one day, police or, or, you know, someone, you know, like some bad guys or something and they start questioning you, I don't want you to know anything pretty much. Um, and I think it's a good alter ego for me is to be a guy in a wheelchair and then also, you know, fight crime with this suit. And he goes, so 
you know, no one will suspect me of anything, and I don't want you knowing anything, uh, you know, in just in case, worst case scenario. So Dwight's kind of like, all right, I can, you know, appreciate that. Um, and then so at the end of the story, you know, he puts the hybrid mask on, they shake hands, and then uh, they part ways. And I think Scott shows up, or Hybrid shows up again back in New Warriors. Um, I don't remember too much of him in New Warriors. I think I remember like an issue or two, um, but I don't think I'm going to cover that stuff unless you guys have read those issues and you think they're worth hunting down because I'll have to find them on eBay or something like that. I don't think there's digital versions of those on Comixology at all. So, uh, and I don't think they're reprinted in anything that I'm aware of. So uh, I don't know if I can have easy access to those issues. So I probably won't cover them. Um, but if you think strongly that I should, you know, let me know what issues they are, at least one or two that I should focus on, and I'll try my best to track them down at some point, and we'll talk about it maybe in season four or something like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I have rest the rest of this season planned, season three. Uh, we're going to go up to e uh, episode 450 on this channel, and uh, or for this season, I should say. Uh, so that's what my seasons are. I try to do them in 150 episode increments. And uh, and so season three, we're going to you know wrap up the rest of this Eddie Brock 90s denim stuff. And then we're going to get into Absolute Carnage, and we're going to talk a lot about that. We're going to review every single issue, and I think there's like 27 to 30 issues total of that series. That So that's already 30 episodes right there at least. So um, yeah, we have a lot of stuff to talk about this season. Uh, a lot of it's Carnage related as well. Um, but then we're also going to wrap up the Anti-Venom stuff. So that way next season when we start, we're probably going to wrap up this season around Thanksgiving time. And I'll probably take the whole month of December off, at least from making Venom Vlog episodes. We'll probably make other stuff, but Venom Vlog will probably take a rest for the month of December because work's going to be so crazy. So unless big major news comes out for the movie, I probably won't cover it. Um, and so in January, though, we'll come back with season four and we're going to start right off with any movie news that we missed uh, during December. Uh, that wasn't like major that I needed to make an episode on right away. And then we're also going to talk about Flash Thompson uh, and we're going to dive into that. And then once we wrap up Flash Thompson, and, and we get up to Lee Price, you know, like, that's it. Like, we've covered, because when we started this show, it was right at the end of the Lee Price era, and uh, and we talked a little bit about some of that. So we'll go back, wrap up the Lee Price stuff, wrap up the Mike Acosta stuff that we didn't talk about before, and we'll be done. So uh, it's crazy to think that, you know, at, when season four ends, it'll be around episode 600, that will be the end of the history of Venom because we'll probably have covered everything by then. We'll have done the cartoons that I haven't talked about yet. We'll get into those. And then we'll also have talked about the video games by then too. And, and then maybe even alternate universe versions of Carnage and Venom uh, by that point as well. So we won't have anything else to talk about as far as the history of Venom goes. Uh, so we will have like a nice 600 episode, you know, full of movie news, toy news, comic news, current stuff, old stuff. It'll be a nice thing. And then what I'll do is I'll make a playlist and I'll put all the comic reviews that we did or comic discussions in order, in print order when they came out. So that way, if you ever want to go back and just watch all of those and know the full history of Venom, I'll make a playlist just for that. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think of those plans and let me know what you think of this short story of Hybrid. Uh, I thought this was cool. It's a neat storyline. Um, it's a neat character. And like I said, it's a cool precursor to Flash Thompson. I think Scott meets some horrible ends uh, coming up in the future, but we'll get into all that in season four. Right now, we'll at least appreciate the time he was a superhero, and we'll talk about one more episode at least, because there was one more short story that's in this graphic novel that we got to get to. So we'll get, to, we'll get into that probably in a couple days from now. So let me know what you think of this story down below, and let me know what you think of the plans for this channel coming up down below as well. I appreciate your feedback as always, and I appreciate you guys watching the channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out as we dissect more of Along Came a Spider the rest of this week. And then next week, we're going to get into Tooth and Claw and that graphic novel, which features like five or six or show stories in that book too. So we have very busy weeks coming up trying to get rid of all this or trying to get through all this stuff um, and get rid of it off my plate before Absolute Carnage starts in early August. So yeah, got a lot to cover. So stay tuned and stay with me on that. Thanks so much. I'll see you all in the future. Peace.